I think our relationship with India, I just returned from India about two weeks ago and I spent a week visiting with uh, various officials there. Uh, that relationship is a very positive one. Um, beyond that, I think, uh, uh, you go to North Korea and we have a big problem. We have a um, very few choices. We can either acquiesce and allow uh, the North to continue to develop uh, its uh, long-range ballistic missiles armed with nuclear weapons. We could go to war, uh, where I believe there's a third way, and that is to really uh, bring about a change of the regime from within by shutting down their economy that the Chinese and the Russians have been propping up, putting more anti-missile defenses uh, in South Korea. The Chinese were able to persuade uh, the president of South Korea to put a hold on that. I would accelerate the deployment of that. I'd, I'd put the uh, THAAD missile system into China, uh, into uh, uh, Japan, rather, uh, over the objections of the Chinese, but to say that Japan needs more protection, uh, South Korea needs more protection, and then I'd wage an information uh, war uh, campaign uh, against uh, North Korea by showing films of the North Korean defectors, showing films about what life is like in the South, undermining the credibility uh, of, the, uh, of the North Korean leader. A number of things we could do and really put more pressure than we have. But uh, we have to look at what the end game of the North Koreans. Why do they want the nuclear weapon? They want the nuclear weapon to be able to hold the United States at risk so that if they start to achieve their goal of reuniting the Korean Peninsula under North Korean uh, control, that the United States would not be able to intervene because we would never trade San Francisco, Seattle, or Washington for Seoul. Now, that is the sentiment that is really developing uh, within uh, South Korea itself, saying, we really don't trust you. We want to have tactical nuclear weapons introduced here on our soil. So that's what's happening, I think, uh, on the ground uh, in that region, and it uh, should be of great concern. But I think we don't have to accept either war or acquiescence, but rather really persuade the Chinese we're serious. We are going to be really hard on uh, the economic benefits going into uh, North Korea. And if you're not with us, that really will spell the relationship yep. for the future. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.